Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In the last video, I did talk about what is compile time polymorphism and programming concept also. Especially in this video, I am going to highlighting like what is runtime polymorphism? What is runtime polymorphism? Very simply here. Runtime polymorphism means it is a quite uh, different from compile time polymorphism. What is that? Whatever the method, whatever the decision taken by the compiler at compilation time, the same decision is not implemented by the JVM at runtime. JVM at runtime is called runtime polymorphism is called runtime polymorphism. So, whatever the decision taking by the compiler at compilation time, the same decision not implemented by the JVM at runtime is called runtime polymorphism. Very simple, Com JVM always trying to execute the data which is always updatable. If the data is updated, definitely that updated data will be executed by the JVM. If the data is not updated, JVM always giving the preference to what here? Old data only. So, very two points, if you understand these two points, we can easily understand what your compile time polymorphism as well as what runtime polymorphism. If the keep on data is updated, then JVM will giving preference to updatable data. So, when the data is keep on updating, if the data is participated in the method overriding. If the data is participated in the method overriding, that type of data is executing from subclasses at runtime. If the data is not updatable, the data is executing from superclass at runtime. Now, let me write one small program to understand this concept notepad. Here I am taking one class A, here I am taking one class A. In the class A, I have one method like void m1 method, void m1 method. In the m1 method, I am writing like, in the m1 method, I am writing like system dot out dot, system dot out dot print line. What is that? Super class, super class m1 method, super class m1 method. Now, control C, I am writing control V, this is what? class B extends of A and uh, this is subclass, subclass M1 method. Now, I am taking one more class like a test, I am taking one more class like a test, in the test class I am writing like, in the test class I am writing like a public, public static void main, public static void main string array, yes. Now, here I am writing like a o b j equal to nu b, a o b j equal to nu b. Now, here I am writing like o b j dot m1 method, o b j dot m1 method, here I am saving with test dot java, here I am saving with test dot java and save it. Now, let me compile the program, java c test dot java and next one is java test, next one is java test. Now, the method is executing from where here subclass, see the beauty. Now, I am save this code and I am copy this code and paste it in the where here one paint, yes, observe here. Now, I am calling m1 method by using obj. So, compiler always concentrate on a reference variable type. So, reference variable is obj, obj type is what here? A type. So, compiler go and bind which m1 method? Super class m1 method. Compiler bind super class m1 method, super class m1 method at what? Compilation type. But, JVM first concentrate 
whether the data is updated or not, whether the logic is updated or not, whether the logic is updated or not means whether the method is participated in the method of overriding or not. If the method is participated in the method of overriding, definitely JVM will give the preference to what here? Subclass. Definitely JVM will giving the preference to subclass. So, which class M1 method is executing? Subclass M1 method is executing. So, here the decision JVM, JVM takes, JVM takes its own decision, its own decision at a runtime, at runtime is called runtime polymerge. So, previous video I told you like compiler will bind superclass M1 method, JVM is also executing the superclass M1 method that is called what your compile time polymerge. But in this concept, compiler binds superclass M1 method, but JVM executing what here? Subclass M1 method. That is what exactly runtime polymorphism. Non static methods always participated in the runtime polymorphism. And one more important point is already we discussed in the last videos. One more time I am repeating note point by using upcast referencing variable, by using upcasting reference variable reference variable we can execute we can execute only non static methods from subclass remaining all remaining all executing from remaining all remaining all means what here non static variable static variable and static methods executes from super class only, executes from super class only. So, one more way to we can speak like this, if the data is updatable in the subclasses, the data is executing from the subclass, otherwise executing from the super class. This is what exactly a runtime polymorphism in Java. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos, please subscribe to channel. Thank you.